Okay, so I'm pretty sure that every one of you who has played a shooter like Halo, Call of Duty, Battlefield, CSGO has been in a situation where there's just this one teammate that annoys the total shit out of you. Let me give you guys an example. Like the other day I was just minding my own business, playing some mythic firefight, when I see this other guy creep up behind me in a vehicle, and I, at first I was like, okay, you know what, maybe he's just trying to help me kill the enemies, and then all of a sudden he just starts bumping and grinding me, and just knocks me off the platform and then just keeps coming after me. So I'm thinking, you know what, maybe this guy has seen a couple of my videos and he just wants to have a good laugh. So I'm like, okay, I'll just let this guy have some fun and then he's gonna move on and we can continue this battle. So then, a whole 10 seconds later, this guy is still chasing my ass and he ends up getting me killed. Now you see, that is where I draw the line and, and this is where shit becomes personal. Like, I hope you understand that I am not a very forgiving person. If you do me wrong, I'm coming for your soul. Just take a look at this filth. Ugh, that's that's nasty. I don't understand why you have to be like that. Now here comes the part where I start to have some fun because you're gonna learn today. You don't you don't do that shit and just get away with it. I actually tried to Spartan charge him back into the fight with the elite here, but I ended up missing, so I played it off as I was just going for the elite and just not paid attention to him anymore. Now I hope you didn't start to think that my vendetta was over or anything. Matter of fact, I just waited patiently for a couple of minutes until he separated himself from the group and then I went all the way to the back of the map and I started scouting what he was doing. So I noticed that he was standing above something here and I'm like, hmm, I could attempt it but if I fail then he's gonna know and he's gonna avoid me for sure so I have to just pick my moment. So I played this off real smooth by just going for the objective, waiting for him to finally drop down and the moment I noticed he was down I'm like, yep, the light is green, go, 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 go. Mm. How does that feel, huh? You like that punk? Hmm, I think I'm gonna have to add a phrasing after that sentence because this is gonna sound so wrong. But yeah, I thought this was the end of it until this guy just decided to send me a couple of party invites. Now I wasn't having any of that because for all I know, he was just in the party with a couple of his friends and he wanted to trash talk some and I, I really wasn't in the mood for that. So instead, I just sent this guy a message saying what's up and he responds with dude not cool. So at this point I already know that this guy is gonna be a hypocrite because, well, the thing that he did is supposed to be cool? So I just say, yo, you got me killed, I returned the favor. And then he says, you stole my ghost in the first place. And this is where I got confused because I had already played a couple of matches today and in every single one of those matches, I never stole anyone else's vehicle. So I go back into theater, all up to the point that I spawn my ghost for the first time and I watch that entire clip until the part that he just starts bumping and grinding me. And at this point, I, I just realized like this guy might seriously be delusional because there is no way that I entered his ghost and, and why would I? Because I have my own ghost. Now here comes the part where the story gets really interesting because I fast forwarded all the way up to the point where I meet this guy for the first time and I never left my ghost uh, since I spawned it. So this guy sends me another message saying that I took his ghost. <laughs> like bro, for real though? Are you mental or something? Oh well, since I was already working on this, I thought to myself, you know what? I'm actually gonna get to the bottom of this. So I go back into theater mode and look at things from his perspective. So if you look closely, the moment this guy leaves the base, I was already in my own ghost, just cruising around, splattering some elites and just having a good time. Watching that just blew my mind completely because... <laughs> I couldn't comprehend what was going on. So at this point, this guy has left his ghost in order to spar and charge a grunt and he sees me driving by. Like, bro, did you seriously think that I was able to leave my ghost, take your ghost, put my ghost back at the spot where you left your ghost and then just drive off? Dude, you have been watching too many Hollywood movies, like seriously. So I try to be the better man and tell this guy to go watch theater. And, and I'm not gonna lie, this is where he got me triggered as fuck. Like, hola, 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 hold up. You did not just tell me to go suck a dick. You did not just go there. Like, I wasn't planning on making a video, but after reading this, I was like, yep, that video is coming out tomorrow. So yeah, the answer to dealing with annoying teammates is that you do not forgive them. You just get even and betray them until they learn some manners. Mm. How does that feel, huh? You like that punk?